This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com. This is still my high school podium, and here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for March 25th, 2022. Of course, over the past couple of weeks, the Walt Disney Company has been under fire for donating money to the sponsor of Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill. According to the new position that has been making the rounds, not all Disney employees want the Walt Disney Company to be involved in politics. Some Disney employees are passing around a petition hoping that the Walt Disney Company will stop getting involved in political uh, things and remain politically neutral. You can read the full petition over on our website. No details have been announced, but minivans will be returning to service at Walt Disney World this summer. Disney Parks posted a TikTok video stating minivans would be rolling back in this summer. Minivans, which are operated by Disney but bookable through Lyft, halted operation when the parks closed in March of 2020 due to COVID and were thought to be retired completely. Of course, they were not doing very well before COVID. The division was losing a lot of money. The only profitable part was the airport rides and then the Disney Cruise Line service they were offering. That was about it. So the rumor, the, the rumor is that maybe they'll return with only airport service now that Magical Express isn't happening. Obviously, this isn't a free service. It's, you pay for it. So uh, we'll keep you in the loop as we learn more. During our latest trip to the Magic Kingdom, we caught the Walter E. Disney train of the Walt Disney World Railroad testing near Storybook Circus. It was announced in December that the refurbished locomotive would be used uh, to test the new tracks. Some guests have spotted the train in the past few months when we witnessed the train pull up near the station and then move backwards. You can watch the video right here on our YouTube channel. A new 50th anniversary figure by Jim Shore is now available at Walt Disney World. This one features Donald Duck in the Enchanted Tiki Room. Donald is standing next to a tiki totem pole on a square base. The pole is decorated with faces, just like those in the attraction. The entire pole is covered in intricate carvings. It's painted in shades of brown, red, yellow, with touches of green and blue. Donald's in his classic blue sailor outfit with some Jim Shore crisscross detailing on him. We found the figure in Bonjour Village Gifts of the Magic Kingdom for $85. Fans voted for which legacy lightsaber hilt they hoped to purchase at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities back in 2020. And the winner was Cal Kestis's saber from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The lightsaber is finally making its debut in Galaxy's Edge at both Disneyland and Disney World today. The hilt was previewed at Disney's Hollywood Studios in January of 2021 as a teaser for its scheduled release in the fall, which didn't happen. Cameron Mon uh, Monaghan, the actor who plays Cal, recently journeyed to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland and tried out the saber. Those familiar with Jedi Fallen Order will recognize the broken end design since Cal Kestis acquires the lightsaber after the weapon is damaged and is only capable of emitting a single blade. However, it comes with a dual lightsaber adapter so you can recreate the original double-bladed design wielded by his master, Jaro Tapal. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's not a real person, so I don't know if we care, but if you purchase a second hilt, you can do it. While exploring Batu, Monahan traveled to Black Spire Alpus and met with the gatherers at Savi's uh, to construct his very own lightsaber as well. The newest member of the Rhino family at Animal Kingdom, Logan, can now be seen out on the savannah. Mother Lola gave birth to Logan back in November of 2021. Logan was the third white rhino born at the park in the past 16 months and the 13th born at Walt Disney World. Last week, Logan was finally able to join her siblings, Ranger and Milo, out on the savannah. Walt Disney World has announced that an Earth Week celebration is coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom from April 18th to the 24th. No more party for the planet, sadly. The park will spend an entire week honoring our planet and how we can all come together to create a healthier home for people and wildlife through family-friendly experiences and special offerings. At Conservation Station, you can try your hand at drawing as Disney artists at the Animation Experience guide you step-by-step -step to bringing your favorite Disney characters to life using real animals as inspiration. Each animal represents some of the amazing stories of conservation work Disney is doing around the world. You can also check out the limited time Wilderness Explorer activity that rewards you with an Earth Day nature badge. There will also be a special Disney character cruise on Discovery River and Disney Photo Pass magic that frames you with Wally and Eve from Disney and Pixar's animated feature Wally. Yes, of course, two of our favorite animal characters, Wally and Eve. There will also be a specialty merchant. I'm in a mood. There will be specialty merchandise and custom food and beverages at the park as well, including the returning Flamingo Cupcake and the Honey Bee Cupcake. And lastly, a limited edition Earth Day pin will be released. Disney is casting more performers for Finding Nemo the Big Blue and Beyond, which is replacing Finding Nemo the Musical in Animal Kingdom. Disney began casting for Nemo and ensemble members last year, but is now seeking more specific characters. 
All roles will be realized by a diverse array of puppetry styles, including rod, uh, bunraku, and hand puppetry. These, those interested can apply at DisneyAuditions.com. Starting March 24th, Disney Vacation Club has raised the direct price per point for Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas, Disney's Old Key West Resort, and Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. The new direct price for all three is $200. Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas was previously $186, while the other two were $180. All three resorts are currently sold out, and Disney Vacation Club has been pushing Riviera Resort and the Grand Floridian uh, more. Di uh, new Disney Vacation Club Resort Studios will be opening at Disney's Grand Floridian on June 20th. As we near the summer opening of Avengers Campus at Walt Disney Studios Park in Disneyland Paris, we now have our first look inside the Paris version of Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure, as well as an outside view of the Avengers coaster. The images were shared recently on a French news program talking about the 30th anniversary of the resort and shared by a DLP report, showing a look at the attraction featuring a poster translated into French. Also shown on the program was a look at Imagineers hard at work testing the attraction as it prepares for its summer opening window. Disneyland Paris has not said exactly when the land will open, and they also give a first look at the guest-facing exterior of the as-of-yet-untitled Iron Man-themed roller coaster. Previously saw art featuring the attraction's ride vehicle as part of the Paris 30th anniversary announcement, and testing recently began on the attraction's exterior lighting features. Outside Ears has shared a couple more updates from the construction of Avengers Campus. Uh, more themed paneling and signs have been added to the land's attractions. Red paneling has been installed on some sections of the Web Slingers building. We got a good look at the web logo on the translucent blue piece a few weeks ago. Yellow and blue box structures sit outside the Stark Industries brick facade, and this metal structure outlines an awning above the doors to the new Iron Man roller coaster. These cables run down the show building for, an Avengers roller co for the Avengers roller coaster, which is undergoing testing, and construction of the land's restaurant was delayed, but crew members are working to catch up. There's still a lack of theming on exteriors, though. Uh, the Quinjet was installed in January, of course, and sets for the outside stunt shows are being built nearby. Permanent, uh, permanent scaffolding will hold a tarp backdrop. Hong Kong Disneyland has released the logo for the new nighttime spectacular, Momentous. Disney Magical Kingdom blog shared the logo on Twitter. This new nighttime spectacular will turn the castle of magical dreams into a canvas of light and sound, taking you on a journey of life's cherished moments. Momentous will debut later this year. Of course, Hong Kong Disneyland is currently closed. Uh, through at least April due to COVID. The Shanghai Disney Resort has also closed its doors once again due to the pandemic. The park closed on March 21st until further notice. The resort uh, started reducing crowd capacity and suspending indoor shows amid a surge of cases. China is facing its worst wave of COVID since the original outbreak in Wuhan, with cases of the highly infectious Omicron variant surging over 1,500 per day nationwide, according to the South China Morning Post. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. Quickly, I want to mention Carousel of Products. We got a great new shirt out celebrating my favorite restaurant at Walt Disney World, Sanaa. We've got Bread Services Love, Bread Services Life. has great art of the windows and the bread and the giraffes. It's really cute. It's got the Sanaa plates on the back. It's very cute. CarouselProducts.com, 20 bucks like all our shirts are. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit www.nt.travel for details. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind this show by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Shout out to our wigs out there watching today. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. From WDWNT, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the top stories in a quick, concise, and fun format. Then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the Parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube.com forward slash WDWNT or watch episodes on demand anytime or subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.